right? I remember when I I was uh gonna I was planning to come to Japan, and the amount of negativity, and you gotta realize negativity is everywhere, and that's why the number one aphrodisiac in the entire world is being happy, because. In order to succeed in the sexual marketplace, you have to stand out, okay? You have to stand out in a positive way. When the average person is broke, unhappy, fat, you just look like the rest of the fuckers. But if you're doing the big three, make money, make muscles, learn game. This is the learn game section here because this is the mental game. All right, this will take you everywhere when you need to go in life. If you can sort this thing out, you're set for life, baby. I'll never forget. I was trying to become what I am right now. I was like, okay, I want to go to Japan, teach English, and then I want to model on the side. And I remember I I posted this on the forums, and I had an army of people just attack me. And like, you think you can do this thing, and it's not possible, man, and it's totally like out of your reach you're out of your mind and all these people are telling me that like you could barely make money getting by i remember i came into this because i'm a fucking gangster all right i'm a fucking thug i got this shit sorted you're not gonna tell me shit motherfucker i know who i am and i know what i can do i was sourcing data at that time and what i what i realized was that this advice on the internet was totally flawed because what did i end up doing i came to japan I landed one job right off the bat, and then I landed another job paying me $25 an hour cash. Not a lot of money. Not a lot of money. But, hey, you know what? It was uh, was seven years ago, and $25 an hour, not bad. Then um, I landed a job at Honda, and I was teaching all the motorcycle engineers business-level English. And that job was a pretty penny. That job was paying me $80 an hour. And then... When I moved to Osaka, I was able to start my modeling career. And I was a model in this magazine. I did a bridal uh, photo shoot where I was a groomsman. And that was a sweet gig. They paid me 250 for just showing up and hanging out with other hot models because there's all this like hot girls that were there. And um, take the photos, show up, get paid, get to eat food. It was a good time. And I had achieved it all. But if I had based my decision-making power on that forum from the internet, I'm telling you, it would have been just 100% not good. I, w- I would not have pursued through it. Um, I would not have pursued anything. Uh Charles says, I got a testimony. Let me know when I can call. Call him now, dude. I got you. 657-383-1318. Guys, the phones are always open. Oh, oh, open. (laughs) Phone lines are always open. Call in. 